want to know. I can't read. Wait a minute before we continue. But the dead don't nothing at all. So before we start, I want you to know this is very important. We have sponsors today. The sponsors for today, no, funny comes later. All right, is okay. All right, okay. There, some dead people here. You pass that around, okay. And if you need financial advice, all right. You always, I saw this here. That's an ad for financial advice. You always know who they ask. All right, pass it around. All right, yeah, okay. Let's go. By Mason, where on Yud Ches, Ahmed Beis, a dozen lines or so from time, Nine lines from it says, "I Mason enem yodim meuma," but the dead don't know nothing at all. All right, let them wait in line. All right, Elu Rishay Rishem shebachayehem kuyim Mason. Good morning, Jimmy. All right, this refers to the wicked who, even in their lifetime, are called dead. So it's not real. This statement, first interpretation, is it's not dead people, but it's Wicked people, they're called dead even in their lifetime. Says, okay, they ne- they take no heed of the fact that they will one day die and have to give a reckoning. Rabbiya supports his assertion that the wicked are considered dead even during their lifetime. Shanama gives a quote, and as it says, Vata Halal Russia the Sea Israel, a new corpse of wickedness, Prince of Israel. We have the same notion. Libi, uh, what is it? Nafshi, hello, the Libi, something, David and Melech says, and so on. All right, so hello is dead. All right. The by the same mehacha, or if you prefer, I'll derive it from another person. Api shnaim edim, or api shlosh edim, you must hamez. All right, listen to that. The dead will die. It's like, what's wrong? But how can someone who's already dead? I oh, understand. It's just so like, Building a marker so that the fallen person won't fall, or maybe, all right. Chayu. Now the condemned person is still alive. Why does the verse refer to him as dead? Something's going on here. Hold on. Are we still on? Oh, I don't know what, what's going on here. Yeah, you know what? The video froze. People touch things. Can Just someone check? Oh, we, yeah. I guess we're still on. Adam, you must amaze. All right, all right. Ella or rather, since he is wicked enough to be condemned, he's called dead from the outset. All right, even while he's alive. Okay. It, it emerges from the above incident that Rabbi and Rabbi Yonason disagreed over whether or not the dead are aware of an affront to their remains. The Gemara now considers the general question of whether the departed soul is aware of events that tr- transpire in this world after its death. Now we get into the real spooky stuff. Rav Chia's sons went out to the villages, all right? These guys were workers, where they had their family's estate. And they stayed so long, and it was working, that they forgot their learning. They took pains to try and recall what they had learned. So one of the brothers said to the other, Does our father, who up in heaven, this father, he's a right person, who's no longer alive, know of this pain that we are experiencing? The other one replied, How can he know? He's dead. For after it is written in scripture, his sons may attain honor, and he wouldn't know it. Whereupon the other son said, but he doesn't know, he gives another passage. His flesh will paint, but his flesh will pain him, and his spirit will mourn for him. No, but his flesh will pain him. All right, it was saying that they manage feel something. Rav Yitzchak said uh, in explanation of this verse, that the worms to the body, that the eating the body cause such pain to the body of a dead person. It's like getting a doctor shot or a pin in a live person. Okay? 
one of the chassid, loud, loud, one of the chassidim was, was doing something and the Rebbe felt he had like a rack on his hand. Uh, oh, what, the Rebbe felt that he had he a rack? He felt rash? What, whatever the chassid was doing. He, he felt whoa, whoa. Okay, it's not giving the man a, uh, a trophy. Okay. I'm a Bitsara did who yado. They knowing of their own suffering, but Sarah the Achrina lo yada. So what he's saying, the Gemara rejects this proof. He says maybe the Mason know of their own pain, but that doesn't mean they know somebody else's pain, right? Velo, uh, but okay, but do they not know of the affairs of the world? Is really the question. Okay, so there's a Mace, all right? He knows of his own pain. Whether that's his neshama, no, it might, it might just mean his neshama, all right, uh, has pain from watching the body being eaten away by worms. Uh, you know, I mean, what does it exactly mean? Well, does it doesn't mean that the body that's decomposing is feeling pain from, I don't know the answer. But Tanya, but it was two in the Bryce, there was a story about this one chassid, all right, very pious man. Uh, and he was identified as Rabbi Yehuda ben Eli or Rabbi Yehuda ben uh, Bava. You know, every time we come across certain uh, pseudonyms for people, you know, there was, what, what do we have for Eliyahu and Navi? What, what do we call him? Uh, uh, In the previous Gemara, we've been learning, you know, a term, and we say every time we use that man, it, it refers to Eliyahu and Navi. Uh, Wake uh, up, come uh, on. Uh, uh, who like, Sabo or someone? Like what? Mars, <laughs> okay, I'm glad you guys don't just listen to my class. All right, anyway, so here when it says Chasidech, it refers to uh, uh, this person who we just said, Rabbi Yehuda ben Ilar or Rabbi Yehuda ben Baba. Shinasan Dinar Laani, the Arab Rosh Hashanah Bishnei Tzoros. All right, it was a terrible year, it was a year of famine. And what did this Chasid do? He went and he gave a poor person a dinner right before Rosh Hashanah. Now, what was the problem? Viknit vehiknitotu ishto. After this, his wife gave him a real hard time. So, you know, I guess he didn't have the most, uh, whatever. You didn't have your situation. He, yeah. Baruch Shem Rabin, in case you're listening, which I know you're not, 41 years, thank you for forgiving me and living with me. Dean is frozen again. Just Dean is frozen. A long, long bevees had for us. So, you know, after I guess he got kicked out of his house, he had nowhere to go, all right? And he wanted people to know he had nowhere to go, so he didn't go sleep by somebody else's house or whatever. He said, I'll go somewhere where no one will know that I'm there. there. So where'd he go? He went to the cemetery. There ain't nobody going by the cemetery. I don't never know he got kicked out of his house. All right? the base of course. He went and, and let, uh, lied down the base of course. By the way, send me back my uh, wonderful uh, sponsorship papers. Okay? So here he is. All right? He's there hanging out in base of course. All right? The Shemesh Dei Ruchas Shemesapras Zul Uh-oh. He heard two spirits talking one to each other. So they were young girl spirits, all right, Nebuch, all right, and he, she, he hears one girl say to the other, let's go and fly around. Let's go, you know, uh, take a little uh, flycation, you know, we got wings or whatever. And Nishma all right, and let's hear from behind the curtain. So remember, Wizard of Oz, pay no attention to man behind the curtain. Up and all of my body. You can't pay attention to man behind the curtain. The man with the capital one. Why? Because he's behind the curtain. All right. But they wanted the guy to sneak back stage, all right, and see. My this follow They want to know what's going to happen to the world. Now, this isn't just winning. Why today? Remember, it's Arab Rosh Hashanah. And Arab Rosh Hashanah, Shem's already deciding what's going to happen for this next year. So they basically wanted the scoop and the news report for the year. Fashes, you with me? Yeah. Okay. And it was it was. Uh, yeah. Oh, you, you, you got it. Right. You, am I talking too loud? No, okay. good. I'm a la chaverta. So her friend saw, said, you know what? I can't go with you. Shani Because unfortunately, I was buried in the reeds, a matting of reeds. So she's stuck in the ground. She can't get on the floor. It's like a, a truck that's stuck in the mud, right? 
you know that you guide yourself in neutral you have to put yourself in, in fourth gear whatever you know uh, for on the floor this yeah nice car right? but you know what you go fly around and come back and tell me what's happened to my Imri Lee, and tell you if you hear what's going on. So what do you hear so far from the story? You hear that they're alive and they're dead. They're talking and they can find out what's happening in this world because we just said that the mace knows what's happening to itself, the pain, but not to somebody else. Now, not only are we going to find out that his story of that they can find out what's happening to someone else, they can find out what's happening in the world of the living. Right. And, and the man who went to sleep could hear this. Ah, yes. Remember, that's why he's there, hanging out there. All right? All right? And come back and relate to me whatever you hear. Halachahi. All right? So, halachahi. Excuse me. It's not a halachahi. It's not spoke right. She went to hear. All right? The Shatovata. And she roamed and she returned. And a friend said to her, Chaverti, all right? What do you hear behind the curtain? It's like she couldn't wait, all right? It's not gossip, all right? But she wanted to know. Also, all right? I heard that the crops, that anyone's going to print this win winter at the time of the first rain will be destroyed by hail. Now, let me explain something for a second. There's like three times they can uh, plant the crops. It's not like three different seasons, all right? Because they're planting now winter. It's like just, you plant now, that's the first plant. You wait a week later, that would be the second planting. You wait another week, that's the third plant. So it's only kind of a week apart, right? So she found out that if you plant right away, within the first week or whatever it is, that hailstorm is gonna come later on, it's gonna destroy your crops, all right? So listen, all right, at the time, that Will be through halachu to this pious man one vizara the revia shnia. So he waited and he planted in the second. So first of all, you hear, you see that he hear, he heard. So he could hear the dead speaking. Number two, we've heard from the story that the dead really know what's going on in this world. Now you might ask me, why is it that planting in the in in this a week later wouldn't be a difference? Oh, so what happened? The story is bring Hashem is bringing borrowed. All right. What happens is what he plants matures very quickly, all right? So like within a week, it could get very hard. So if Barak comes down on uh, stalks that are very hard, basically it cracks them. If you've ever had a palm tree and you break the center palm, it basically kills the palm, all right? But if he plants the second week, all right, it's still growing, it's still fresh, it's still soft. When the Barak hits it, it'll just flex like palms in the wind. All right, so it wouldn't die. So that's how this miracle uh, happened. So it's not so much a miracle, it's the story of, of the getting the information. You all right, okay, which is why I, I, this is an ad. It's really an ad. Why not retire comfortably? It's, it's an ad. I can't believe this. Alan's and it shows. So, anyway, I don't know if you learned the Gemara and did that for whatever. Halachu. Yeah, you can read it privately. All right. Harachu, okay. Shokoa alam kulo loka. So everyone's crops were destroyed because they all uh, planted initially. Shalo loka, but his didn't. So I bet his wife was happy. Boy, he made a killing on inside the train and the money. Okay. The Shana Kharas. Okay, so what did he do next year? He already knew the secret. So he said, ah, you know what? I'm going to come back. Next year, and then next year he comes back at Rabbi Hashanah. He wants to find out, you know, where to invest his stocks. And Rabbi Hashanah heard, "Halach belon the base at first. He went to sleep. So he didn't get kicked out of his house this time, but he was smart. He said, "I know what I'm going to do." By the way, there's a light that's above me that's like really coming down strong. It's a shchina. Yes, yeah, shchina. No, we know it's not the shchina light. It's a fluorescent bulb. Okay. Uh, all right. He's still hearing the same two uh, spirits, all right? Which kind of makes you wonder, what are they still doing there? You know what? Are they always there? Is one light stuck there? Maybe, unfortunately, the one that uh, is in the reeds, you know. What's it called when you hear these stories about spirits? They 
can't leave your body and stop drinking. What? Stop drinking. Not stop, stop <laughs> drinking. <laughs> yes, if you. That's funny. Shamal sent stay with us. Anyway, he heard the saying to uh, a young girl speaking. Same story. One said to the other, Bowie, Menashe, Baalim, let's go fly around. Mishmei, Akharei, Hagad, Maboranias, and let's find out what uh, is going to happen to the world. Don't you remember I told Elias here, I can't fly. Because I'm stuck with, with the. Uh, Reads, please, you go and you fly around. Same story as last time. And you come back, tell me what's happening. All right. So she went out, she roamed, and she came back. So her friend right away says, No. So what do you see? What do you hear? From behind the, from behind the man behind the curtain. So I heard that the weather plants this time in the winter at the second of planting will be blasted by a dry wind. So this time what's coming down is a dry wind. I, so he says, uh, wait, wait, uh, who comes this time? Carefully? Okay, so now what happens? So this time the guy goes and he plants the first planting. In the meantime, what happens to the rest of the world? They say, oh my God, I'm not planting the first planting. Remember what happened last year? So hail came and then knocked it down. I'm going to wait and plant by the second planting. All right. Now, just think about it. He planted in the first planting. By the time the dry wind comes, this time, it, his stuff is already hard. It ain't going to be affected by the dry winds. But the people just planted and have young kind of seedlings growing, all right? That stuff is going to just be schmiced by this dry wind and destroyed. So because of what came to the world this time, it didn't work. You with me? Because you have this look on your face like, what's going on? Or do you plan on planting? My accent. I don't writer, understand writer, my writer, accent. Writer, writer, writer. So nobody's going to understand my accent. Okay. Okay. So go, I don't understand. It's a Tennessee accent. What's the one living in Tennessee? Writer, writer. Why does that keep on doing that? Green is frozen. Are you Moshe Druin? Can you hear us? I don't know. View. Oh, all right, go handle that. What's happening is I don't know what's going. Keep going. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So if she's loving this, okay. I'm a low easto. So now his wife said to him, kulo loka." Why is it that last year everyone's crops were destroyed? and yours weren't destroyed, and now everyone's crops are bloated, and yours are blasted, and yours are not blasted. Hold on. Uh, oh, take your time, because I just moved this. Yeah, no, but with the electronic stuff, if I move it right. Can you unfreeze the screen? Do you know if you're still recording? I don't know. What did you do here? All right. The screen is frozen. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Please stand by. Okay, there. Let's see. Okay. What does that say? That's good. Don't touch this. Close. I'm not touching anything. Right. Right. Don't even breathe. This <laughs> message was deleted. No, 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 no. Don't right. touch no, anything. Don't all right, all right. Oh, I said, oh, back, back. Okay, hold on. Hold on. See, people, Moshe just said something. So what's happening every time they send? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't, don't send worry. messages on five thirty. Okay, going, keep going, keep going, going. okay. Hold it a second, because it, it moved here. Uh, so what you're here. I'm sorry. Okay, so now his wife wants to know why is it that yours one uh blasted? Amaloisto. So his wife said to him, Mash Takachu. All right, just ask that, and yours wasn't. Says uh Sakhla Kod from Halalo. So you know what? He broke down. This guy, what can I say? He's a wuss. He told his wife the whole story why he went to uh 
uh, the cemetery where he's getting his news from, this and that. He was really scared of this wife. This lady, I don't know. I'm All right. are you yummy muatim? They said that it was not more than a few days later, when the crow broke out, between his wife, and between the mother who had lost her young daughter who was buried in the reeds. His wife said to her, so she said, in this heat of the argument, she says, Tom, I'm going to show you that your daughter is buried in the reeds. Oh, I do this. come next year. You know, he didn't really realize what happened for this. So he went the next year, can't hear the news report. And here the same two girls talking. Again, start the same way. One said to the other, come, let's fly around, find them, Nishmai Hari Pargad, Ma Paranir Spala Alam, what misfortune's gonna come to word? Amar La, listen what the girl answered who was buried in in the reeds. Khaverati Hanichati, leave me. Devram Shabini Lebenech, the words that we spoke between each other, Kva Nishmu Benachayim have already been heard amongst the living. So what do we learn from this story? we learn that the Mason know what's going on in this world, all right? Up until now, we, the story was really, we found out what the Mason were, were taught, that they were talking, and they found out what's going on behind the curtain, all right? Well, You're making a call well, I'll take it. thank fight you. Them, fight them. All right, okay, fight them, fight them. I wore a white shirt, so every time you want to fight them, I'll fight them, fight them, right? Okay, all right. I'm a yaday. Apparently, the dead do know. Apparently, the dead do know. Okay. Dilma inish achrina shachit. Perhaps another person died in the interim. So this maybe this is another answer. Ah, maybe they don't really know what's going on directly. Maybe another person died, and that person came. Oh, met him, you know, in the circle of the dead. All right, and said, hey, you know what? You won't believe what happened last year. I told them the story. So they didn't really know firsthand. They heard it secondhand. As they say, legally hearsay, right? They're okay. talking about a future event. What? No, no. We so want to the base of it, but the same. Maybe in the interim of the third year when, when the girl was stuck in the reeds, when the Shema said, I can't go with you, and they know what's going on. The Gemara is answering that doesn't. That's not necessarily proof that they know. Perhaps in the interim of the year, another person died and told them what happened. Right. All right, and that's how they find found out about the quarrel that went on with her mother. All right, okay. Tashma, come learn the proof from somewhere else. All right, Israeli Hava Mufkid Zuzay Gabe for Zairi entrusted some money with his landlady. All right. While he was away at the academy, she died. So what do you learn from this? No lawyer. What do you learn from this? Right, leave it in the bank. In the safe deposit box? No. All right. Make make sure you have a trust and uh, somebody watching it. All right, whatever. Uh, That was a commercial for our students. All right. Also, Bostra Lachacha Mavis. So he followed her to the courtyard of death, meaning he followed her, he went to where she, she was buried. Amalah, and he said to her, Zizi Yecha, where's the money? He's, he's standing over a grave, and he's saying, show me the money. All right, Amalah, she said to him, Zel Shaklina mitos mitusei the tsinora the dasha beduch plan. Go take it out under the pivot of the door, such such a place. And she added, and tell my mother to shudder Lee must. <laughs> this is very funny. Miss Rakai the Guv Tai the Chuya, and to send my comb and my mas- uh, my mascara, my my cosmetics here. This is a mace. She's dead. She's worried about how she looks. All right. Now is she worried about how she looks? But she's telling yeah, the guy to tell my mother to send 
send me send me a care package to all of my book. Well, the Hebrew Claire Nisa, the Asya Lamakra. So so and so who is dying and is coming here tomorrow. It was who is she sending with? UPS, USPS, FedEx. Who's it, who's it coming with? She said, send it with so and so. She's going to be dead tomorrow, so she'll bring it to me. I'm like, who, who's going there in Israel? Who's, who's going to Olamandas? Right? Oh my yadi. Apparently, so what do we see from this? She knows the future, what's going on in this world. She knew who was so sick and that she was going to die. Again, another raya that the dead do know what's going on in this world. The Mar rejects this proof as well. The Mar said, ah, you know, I know these stories intuitively. You're right away ready to get on board and say, ah, yeah, that's a proof. But you see, if you think, oh, maybe it's not proof. Duma, Duma, Kadim, Machrin, La. Perhaps the angel Duma, that was the name of the angel, I guess, like another Sotam, whatever, announced to, to the dead beforehand, it's like, hear ye, hear ye, tomorrow comes X, Y, and Z. All right? Who's coming the next day? And that's how she knew. Or maybe that's how they put in their orders. You know, they didn't have Amazon. All right? They had Amaduma. All right? Okay. Tashma. So come and learn another story. Again, we're trying to prove how they knew the future. All right, Davu de Shmuel Habuka, Mafkede Gabe Zuze the Yasme. Shmuel's father was entrusted with orphans' money. Wait. Kidach Nafse lo Habishmoy Gabe. And when he died, meaning Shmuel, uh, was not, uh, wait, and when he died, Shmuel's father. Shmuel's father. So when Shmuel's father died, he wasn't with him. So the problem was, Shmuel didn't know where this money was to give the orphan. Right? Because he didn't have a chance to tell him. The person doesn't know when he's going to die. People suspecting the worst would call Shmuel the son of one who consumed the orphan's money. Because Shmuel wasn't giving out the money. So all of a sudden, they were like talking to Lashon and Shmuel's father and him because he's saying like, you guys invested the money. Also, so Shmuel went to the courtyard of the dead. Uh, I think it's another Shmuel. I'm not sure. It just says Shmuel. Okay. Now, there's a little problem with going to the courtyard of the dead somewhere. I don't think he's supposed to. Or maybe he dreamt it was the courtyard of the dead. I don't know. But whatever it was, he somehow was at the right place at the right time. So here it is. Amalahu, he said to them, Be'ina Abba. He's looking for his father, he says. I'm a lady. They said to him, Abba Toba Ika Hacha. Hey, there are a lot of fathers here. You know, who are you looking for? You know, this reminds me of like uh, in uh, what we say in the morning. No, 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 Yosef. What we say when we talk about uh, you know, the, get a little bit more specific here. Thank you. So you want to cry out and say, Mendel, Mendel. Yeah, all right. <laughs> when we cry out, right here. Okay. Abba Bar Abba. I'm looking for Abba, the son of Abba. So they said to him, Abba, Bar Abba, Nami Dovri Kahacha. There are a lot of Abbas, the son of Abbas. All right? Amalosh more than said, Be'ina Abba, Bar Abba, Abuah, the Shmuel. I'm looking for the Abba, the son of Abba, who's the father of Shmuel. Where is he? All right, now he's really giving the identifying information. Amalosh said to him, Shalok and Mich, Lim Tich, Ta, Lim Tith, Ta, Dirakia. So he said, you know, he's already gone up to the heavenly academy to learn. <laughs> so Mima Shmuel noticed his friend, who was a real big time of Levi, who had already passed on, he's sitting outside the circle of the dead. All right? Boy, circles. All right. Maybe that's why it was funny in Michael's circle. All right. No, I think that's later on. All right, Amalei, so Shmuel said to him, Amai, yes, yes, Hey, why are you sitting outside this circle? Why aren't you up up in the academy? My time alone, Salakta. Why haven't you ascended the academy? Amalei, Levi said to him, Damalei, the reason I have not been admitted yet to the academy is they said to me, Koki, Koki, Hanach Shnei, uh, the Lord Slikta, God bless you, Limtifta, uh, the Rabbi office for as many years as you did not go to the academy of Rav office, office 
and therefore you cause him distress. It's like if you cut class, you know what? You cause distress to your rebels, Uncle Cliff. So we're not going to admit you to the heavenly economy. This explains why back in why you Meanwhile, Shmuel's no stories, but we're way beyond. All right. Meanwhile, Shmuel's father, right? Uh, the class was out, he came back down. Khaze the Habakab Bakhi Bach So we saw that uh Shmuel saw that he was both crying and laughing at the same time. Um Shmuel said to him, My time a kabachis. Why are you crying? Amalei, he answered him, uh, because you're going to be coming up here soon. My tamar is chata. Shmuel then asked him, why are you laughing then if I'm going to come up here? He says, the chashivta b'hai alma tuva, he says, as far as says, because you're regarded highly up here. He says, Amalei, so Shmuel said to his father, ichashivna nerolei ulevi. So you know what? If I'm regarded so, so highly, I'm going to make the test. He said, okay, guys, you trust me? Let Levy go up already. Of course, if you trust my word so highly, all right, while I'm here, send Levy up. For Leola Levy. And all of a sudden, Levy got admitted to the higher economy. So it's sometimes, you know, the saying goes, it's not what you, know. what you know, it's who you know. Here, it's because of what he knew and who he knew that he was able to affect the difference away. Zuzi the Yasme Hecha. All right? So Shmuel then said to his father, where's the money? Show me the money. Amalei, zu shaklina ba'amta de ravia, go to the certain uh, bedstone of the milk. I'm rich, I'm rich, rich. <laughs> he loved, you. leave me alone, you distract me. He loved the tasse didan. And the money's on top. <clears throat> and the, and, and the, the money, in other words, he made several layers of money. He says, the money on top is ours, the money on the bottom is ours, but the money in the center, that belongs to the orphans. Amalei Shmuel said to him, my time of the chachi, so why did you do it that way? Amalei, genuve, ganve, meganve, mididan. Let's say a ganav comes along. He's going to grab the money he sees first, right? He's going to take from the top and run, all right? Guess who he stole? He stole our money. All right, beautiful. I achla, ara, achla, mididan. And let's say the worms or the ground is rotting the money. Who's it going to rot? Our money. So he was always protecting. What a tzaddik Shmuel's father was. All right. He was protecting the orphan's money. So, all right. Um, the other, apparent, so what do you see from this? That the dead do know what's going on again. So another story that the dead really know what's going on. The Gemara is really very stubborn. You know? It says, now, I know intuitively you felt that's the story, but I'm going to reject it. Dilma Shani Shmuel, perhaps Shmuel is different. Came in the Chashiv, Kadme Machrese Panu Makam. But since he was so highly uh, regarded, they proclaimed in advance of his death, make room. How is that? Uh, oh. In other words, it wasn't that his father, this is not from the my part, it's not that Shmuel's father, Abba, knew that he was going to die tomorrow. They knew what's happening in this world to come. It's, they already had made the announcements, like the previous Duma announcement. They said, oh, Shmuel's here, Shmuel's here. You know, he's so great. Yeah, bring him up, step right, you know, well, he said, come on down, right? All right. Anyway, okay. Right. It's, 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 come on up. Come on up. All right. Well, for Rabbi Yonason had a base. Nay. And Rabbi Yonason himself retracted his earlier view on the matter. He said, I'm a Rav Shmuel, but Nachman, I'm a Rav Yonason. For Rav Shmuel, but Nachman said, the name of Rav Yonason. From whence can we. we <laughs> All right. From whence can we derive that the dead converse with each other? This is converse, not converse. All right. Shinemov with his ring. Bayom Hashem he love. All right. Zos haratesh shnispatu Abraham liyutzak liyakov limor. Because it says Hashem said to uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, I said, this is the land that I promised to your forefathers. My limor. Uh, why is it? What's the meaning of the word saying? You know, it's limor. All right, I said, 
He says, so go tell, you know, the Jews who are about to go into this land that I promised them, go tell them that uh, because you're dying now, all right, to tell them that. So, but that makes sense. That this, that I promised them an oath, I, I've already, all right, fulfilled to your children. All right, we're on the top of the next page. You tell some of Allah. But if you assume that the dead do not know anything of the affairs in this world, as Rabbi Yonatan originally thought, completely insensible of all matters, then of what consequence is it that Moses, for Moses to tell him? All right, rather Rabbi Yonatan must have retracted his original view. Elamai the other. But what then does Rabbi Yonatan now hold? that they do know of the worldly affairs? <laughs> Wait a minute. So if Rabbi Yonason now retracted and he says, you know what, the dead do know of what's going on in this world, so why does Hashem have to send Moshe to tell them something that they know is going on? <laughs> Indeed, they did not need to be told. God sent Moses to them in order that they might acknowledge their appreciation to Moses for all that he had done for their descendants. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak said, if anyone disparages a dead person, all right, it's as if he disparaged a stone. The dead person is on the three single man. We, we learn things where, you know, you don't want to embarrass the dead, this and that. Now he's saying, you know what, they don't care. They're like, you know, they're dead, they're like bones, they're like stones. All right, so you're not really affecting them. This is what he says. All right. The Gemara explains. Some say that this is because they do not know. And some say, you know, they know, but they don't care. Oh, thank you. They read here in the right place. They'll say, you know, one day these people will find out. All right. Maria's Papa, but Papa said, the Someone wants to disparage Marshmuel, obviously, after he passed on. But Nephal, Kanya, Kanya, Miklot, Mitatala. And a large pole fell from the roof, right? You know, it's, 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 it reminds me of a joke, which I won't say because we're behind. But name when he wants, no, I'll tell you after minion. But Vizarala, Anika, Demoche. And guess what? It split down his, it, it, it broke his head. And they have, whoa. Since he was punished on Shmuel's account, it would seem that Shmuel was Marshmore. was a what? Marshmuel. That's a different person. Okay. Shan, that. All right. One second. It would seem that Marshmuel was affronted by what he said. Shani Tova Mirabanan, rabbinical scholar, the Kudsha Brichu Tova Bikari. In the when we're talking about, you know, Tami Chacham, Hashem doesn't want you to insult him. All right, Amar of you. Yeah, he took him out. All right, Amar Rabbi Yosher ben Levi. Rabbi Yosher ben Levi said, "Come and sapper chal mitasin shel tamide chachamim." Anyone who disparages tamide chacham after he has gone, no fall by Gehenim. He's going to fall down into Gehenim. Shenema va'meitim al kal kilos tom. And those who turn to perverseness, your lechem Hashem es prolei ha'aved. Hashem will drive them oh, with the oh, workers oh. of iniquity. You know, it's interesting. Uh, oven here is spelled with a vav. We just said Ash, the mason feel like an oven. We also said Hashem threw something down and then they came down like a pole, but I mean like an oven. So the otiyot, the letters are different. Oven but, is also an oven, like it's hot. Ah, even better. I mean, look at all these. <laughs> so, yeah, so what you learn from this is you can't just learn Parish Malpeh unless you're looking in because you think you know, it's one word, it might be another word. And don't scream. Shalom a Yisrael. Peace be unto Israel. I feel Shalom a Yisrael. Even when there is peace unto Israel. And it went way more. Shama Yisrael, even when people, what does it mean? It was, oh, meaning even when they're dead, when they're resting in peace, there should be peace on Israel. Because Hashem will drive down those uh, people who disparage his scholars uh, down into Gehenna. Tanda Rabbi Yisrael. Rabbi Yisrael was taught in the academy of Rabbi Yisrael. 
Let's say you see Nebuchadnezzar Chacham, and he did a Veira light. Don't, in the daytime, think bad of him. Shema said tshuva. Maybe he already did tshuva. Shema said All right, the Gemara asks, do you think that, that the most one can say is perhaps he repented? Surely not. No, you should say, he definitely repented. He says, oh, but this only applies to personal matters, to sins of a private nature. But if it's regarding monetary transgressions, he cannot be judged favorably until he makes restitution to the proper owner. All right, so let's say you saw a time to him a night, and so I'm stealing money, all right? Then you can't automatically assume he did tshuva in the morning unless you saw in the morning that he gave the money back. The Gemara cites another teaching of Yeshua ben Levi, which relates to, to rabbinic dignity. All right, so now we've kind of moved to a new gear. From Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi said, based in Menadin Akvad Haraf. There are 24 places where the based in, all right, will excommunicate, all right, somebody, all right, because they insulted the dignity of, of their teacher. Boy, what you learn from this? Wow, that'd be respect for the teacher. And all of them are, are, are learned in the Mishnah. Upon hearing this, Rabbi Lazar said to him, Hecha, where? Show me. All right, not show me the money, but show me these uh, incidences. Amalei, Shabbat Shubin Levi replied, Lechi, Tishkach. When you search for them, you'll be able to find them yourself. Why is he saying that? Because we just said there's 24 places, and we're not going to have 24 places here. So we're going to have a few examples. So if he wants to resonate with Gregory, he's going to have to search for Nothing to Abashkech plus. So he searched for them. He only found three, which we're going to discuss. Uh, Rabbi Elijah left and investigated and found a mention of three. Uh, again, uh, situations where the based in excommunicated someone who did not show a respect to their role. Mezalzov and Natila Shadayim. One of these was in regard to someone who re- belittles the rabbinic requirements of washing one's hands before eating. So Anatila Shadayim, before we make Hamotzi, this is a Midurabana. The Mesapir Chamitasan Shal Tamid Chachamu, and one who, one who was in regard uh, to, one was in regard to someone who disparages the memory of uh, Talmudic scholars. Right? All right, that's this, a second case. All right, the Hamegistato Klape Mala, and one who was, and one was in regard to someone who is insolent. That means disregarding towards the one above, meaning to Hashem. Now we're going to explain what? No, yeah, that's even a higher migrate. Whoa. Well, I'm a sub- saying, like, we're talking, we're talking about bad people. We're, we're so we saying, jump from dead people to, to, to Tamide Chachamim who teach Torah, all right? Yeah. And then we went, the last one, Tashem and Kitshabricho, Torah, Yisrael, Chadhu. But in a way, we're still talking all about the same thing, if you think about it. Because we're talking about Israel, Torah, Hashem. Right, that's just my title. Okay. Masaper Chom Matat Mitatan Shel Tamidei Chachamim. We said that one of these occasions involves someone who disparages the memory of Torah scholars. Maihi. On what occasion was that? It's none. It was learned in the Mishnah. Who are your Omer? Akavya ben Mahalalel used to say, "Ain Mashkin." We don't give. Water to drink, he's talking about the salt of water, lois a gyaris, not to a convert, lois mishuch rerus, and not to a woman who's free. So if they happen to be in situations of where, where uh, they were married, then, you know, someone's claiming, you know, the salt of situation, they were, you know, uh, uh, of infidelity, all right, that we're not supposed to give them those words. The chalmimamrim, but the sages say mashkin. We do give them to drink. So this is in the, uh, you know, it's in contradiction. <laughs> From low, right, and the sages in support of the view said to them, Masa Bechamis Shifa. There was a story 
in this Chakamish Shifcha, maybe that's where she came from, Chakamish or wherever that was her name or whatever, Mishachreras uh, Birishalayim. This happened to Rishalayim, all right? She was a Vishkia Shmaita Vavtayan. And Shmaya Naftalyan gave her the stuff to drink. Vamalahem, Dugmash, the Sultan wore this to drink, right? Vamalahem, but the Kadi ibn Ahala replied, Dugmash Kua, you know why they did it? Because they liked her. Why did they like her? Because they were converts themselves, Gerim. So they felt, Gerim, she was Guerreras, all right, they felt for her, he says. And all right, and they, meaning the base in them, excommunicated Akavya, all right, for disparaging Shmaya and Avtalyon, or all right, all right, and Umeis Binidui, and he died in the state of excommunication. So here you see an example that if one disparages Chachamin, Tamide Chachamin, oh my God, you know, they got the base in. The Soko based this in SRNO. And, and not only that, but the court had his coffin stoned. Again, interesting, his stone keeps on back and coming they back. Don't actually, stone him. They just put one stone on there. Okay. But how many stones have we just talked about? I mean, the stories keep going, keep going. All right. I, seven minutes, all right. Listen. Go, 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 right. go, go. <laughs> I have to go from here to be the Balthila. The Mazalza Matilas Yadayim. And we said in that occasion, some of the Liz Rabbinic requirement washing one's hands. My he. Uh, what was that occasion? The ton Amar Rabbi Yehuda. Chos for Shalom. Shakabia Bebahalo Nidada. God forbid that what one said that the Kabia Bahalo was excommunicated. Shane Azara Nicholas Alko Adam Yisro. The doors of the temple courtyard. Doesn't close on anyone of the entire Yisrael. The Chachma of the Tara of the Yira Chait, impurity and fear of sin. The Kavya ben Mahalo, as was a Kavya ben Mahalo, Ella Esmish Nidui. Rather, who was who was it then? Then, so the question was: So who did they excommunicate if it was a Mahalo ben Es Elazar ben Chana? It was Elazar ben Chana. She picked ben Etila Sedain. So they're changing now the story. They're saying not the first story with the Sultan war, that that's not approved, that, that's not, they weren't real, weren't excommunicated. Let's go to this, uh, the Yishya dying story. So now we're talking about Elazar ben Hanna, all right? So he disparaged this concept of washing your hands. Hukish Mason, when he dug, Shacho Bastin, Shacho Bastin said, Venicho Evan Gedola Areno, they placed a large stone on his coffin. Velamitcha, Shako Hamis Nades, Umeis Penidoi which teaches you that anyone is excommunicated and dies in a state of excommunication, they still soak in this or no. The base in stones his coffin. Again, stones in this case, explaining means put a big stone. The third occasion, amegistato klape mala, all right, one who is insolent uh, towards the one above, maihi. On what occasion was that? The Tanan, we learned the Mishnah, shalach lo shimon ben shatach, Lachani Amago. Oh, that's why I have the Chani Amago picture. All right, just to remind you, all right, famous story, Chani Amago. All right, this, this is a, you can see it here, he's in the circle here, piercing around. All right, that's a puzzle you can buy, or if you're really cheap, put it through a shredder and then give it to your kids. All right, my he, on what occasion was that? It's time we learned the following Mishnah, Shalach Lo Shimon Ben Shetach Lachani Amago. Shimon Ben Shetach sent to Shoni. Tony Amago, or the famous one in story. Terach, uh, he sent this message to him. Terach, uh, you ought to be excommunicated for, for your behavior. What was his behavior? When he, was, he was like, he was screaming at Hashem. He's like, make it rain, right? He said, if it wasn't for the fact that you're Chani Amago, because Rane Alecha Nidri, I would excommunicate you. Avamasa says, what can I do? Shatan is because you acted so, here in English, it says, caval, cavalierial, I can't pronounce that word. So it's good to predict, right? To to, to, okay, to towards the omnipresent, um, towards Hashem, boldly demanding rain from him. And yet Hashem, you know what, he gave you the rain. Like a, a, a son, Who's demanding from his father, and his father still gives him. 
and it still says in scripture about you, Yisma Chavicha Vimecha Vimecha Vetago Yoladesecha. May your father and mother rejoice, and may she who bore you be glad. Right? So we see that we really can't uh, bring three rises the two Leica, and are there no more cases? All right. Well, we can stop shortly. Baha'ika, Detani Rabbi, Dim Rabbi say in the following, he just said there were 24. So Rabbi Yosef, two of the fine verse, who told us each Rome. Uh, we'll continue from there because we've got three minutes to start diving. Right. Moshe, I didn't okay. say bye to you yesterday. I saw afterwards your pictures from uh, Israel. Uh, Israel. All right. Thank you all. Uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm going. I don't know how to shut this off. Thank you. I'll, I'll shut it off. Learning Learning